Hi guys, so uh, my last video was repairing this um, hefty uh, flip top trash can and um, I noticed when I was doing that these little gray feet on the bottom of this and so these are originally turned in like that and I had never noticed them before but uh, when we turned them out I thought maybe it was a stop so that the bottom of the trash can wouldn't push too close to the wall um, but the more I thought about it um, I figured out it was probably just to give a little more width this way to keep the trash can from tipping over. But um, I often have to pull this trash can out away from the wall because it will, from stepping on the pedal on the front, it will end up tipping or pushing the back towards the wall. And because the top is wider, um, it can't go back any farther. So I've decided to remove one of these and take it out and model it in Fusion 360 and then print a replacement but longer so that it will have a positive stop against the wall and won't push any closer to the wall than I want it and keep me from having to pull it back out. Now, the first iteration, um, because of my print settings, this these little locking tabs were too small. And so just so I could get that right, I just made a little test fit piece and that snapped in there wonderfully. Um, so I reprinted some others. And so I've got two tabs. I'm gonna snap them in and we'll never have to pull my trash can out away from the wall. Okay, so here they are. Now they obviously won't rotate all the way in like the original ones did, um, but this will give me a nice positive stop against the wall. So you can see here that now there's a nice positive stop against the wall. Uh, the back, the bottom of the trash can won't push any closer to the wall. And if we come up here, I do have some gap on the wall. And so this will no longer be rubbing on the wall uh, because where I actually keep this trash can, you can see it's been mooring up the wall. So I'll post a link to the original size, the extended size, and the uh, little test print on printables.com. I'll put a link down in the description for that. Um, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave it down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.